Well, over the past five years, airlines in the U.S. have been consolidating. The four major carriers now account for 82% of U.S. capacity. Now, smaller airlines are emerging. They're trying to fill the gaps left behind. Karina Huber has the details. In 2013, U.S. Airways merged with American Airlines to create the world's largest airline. A year earlier, Continental merged with United, and in 2010, Delta merged with Northwest, and Southwest Airlines bought AirTran. All of these deals led to higher profit margins for the carriers and fewer options for travelers. New startups see opportunities, including a French airline called La Compagnie. Peter Lutti is the company's deputy CEO. We are not going to be the best business class, but we will be the best business class price-wise. La Compagnie offers five all-business class flights per week between Paris and New York. Their planes have 74 seats that all lay flat, and ticket prices are 30 to 50 percent lower than the legacy carriers. We are the carrier for the small businesses. We are the carrier for the lawyers, for the artists, for entrepreneurs that want to fly in comfort but not necessarily pay the high prices. La Compagnie is just one of several startup airlines trying to take flight. People Express, a discount airline that went out of business in 1987, has been revived, flying to cities no longer serviced by the big airlines. And there are others seeking regulatory approval. But the odds of success are stacked against them. According to Phil Derner at NYC Aviation, an industry consulting group, new airlines face strong headwinds. Not only are you in a very uh, high cost industry that tends to lose money, you know, just bleeding money nonstop, you need to have a perfect, perfect niche to find your way through. Reining in costs is their biggest challenge, that and getting people to know about their new service. For now, the airline is focusing on New York and Paris, but if things go well, they plan on launching services to other European cities. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.